Wisconsin's abortion ban faces more challenges after another judge ruled it wasn't legal. Plus, American Family Field funding has officially been signed into law. CBS 58's Emily Fan and West Politics editor J.R. Ross discuss in tonight's Capital Connection. We had a ruling from a Dane County judge this week that reaffirmed her July ruling that the state's 1849 abortion ban does not apply to consensual medical abortions. Now, this prompted Planned Parenthood to hold a press conference announcing their intentions to reopen the Sheboygan Clinic as they already have in Madison and Milwaukee. But the going forward piece here, JR, is that we heard from Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski saying that he wants to appeal this decision. Now, if he does, that could maybe messy up the process of getting this to the state Supreme Court, but Attorney General Josh Call could have other avenues to uh, to go forth over that appeal to try to go through it. The big takeaway is we are back to Roe v. Wade in Wisconsin, essentially. The ban on abortion of 20 weeks is back and is still in effect. Um, other waiting periods, those kind of things are in effect. The only thing that's gone away is the interpretation of this 1849 law applying to all abortions. So now going forward, how long is that going to last? So the Ermanski has the option to appeal somewhere outside of the 4th District Court of Appeals, based in Madison, because where the case was heard. Where will he go? And then once he goes there, will Josh Call file a petition to bypass the appeals court and go right to the state Supreme Court, where you've got a, a liberal majority. We know it's going to get there eventually and hear the case anyway. He can make the argument, let's just go right there right now and have them settle this case once and for all. And the last topic we want to highlight this week is it is now finally official that the Brewers are here to stay in Milwaukee after Governor Evers signed what he called historic legislation that would use uh, about $500 million in public funds to maintain and upgrade AmFam Field. Of course, this was comes after months of negotiations, series of changes. Uh, a lot of lawmakers very happy to get this done. But still looking forward, there was still a lot of uh, things that lawmakers wanted to see in there. Um, you know, possibly if there's going to be a way out, uh, you know, will taxpayers be on the hook for this deal later in the road? Um, the governor said he's not really looking at that right now, but that's something that could come up uh, in, in future debates. The big things immediate future are appointing the new members of the new board overseeing this. That new board um, negotiating a new lease agreement, a non-relocation agreement. Once those things are signed, they get about $60 million or so to get this thing kick-started. So we're near the process. The money actually is changing hands. We're moving forward with this deal. All right, that will do it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us.